Okay? So, first of all, introduce muna natin yung engineering mechanics. So, may iba't ibang branch ang engineering mechanics. So, we have mechanics of rigid bodies or solids, mechanics of deformable bodies, and fluid mechanics. Okay? So, under nitong mechanics of rigid bodies, we have the statics of rigid bodies. Okay? Na na-take up na ninyo last semester. Or para sa iba is uh, yung matagal na. Okay? Matagal na yung mga repeaters sa mga subject na take up natin ngayon. Maybe last year pa doon na na-take. So, statics of rigid bodies and dynamics of rigid bodies. Okay? Other than that, meron pang other branches ang engineering mechanics na usually wala sa bachelor course natin. Meron tayong relativistic mechanics and quantum mechanics. Okay? But meron din tayong isa pang subject na matitake nyo rin next year. Ito yung fluid mechanics. Okay? So, i-define na natin. So, and then, i-define muna natin ano Ano itong engineering mechanics? So, there's a lot of definition actually itong engineering mechanics. But somehow, uh, i-simplify na lang natin yung definition niya. Okay? So, please take note what, what, what will I be saying. So, when we say engineering mechanics, so it is a branch of physics that deals, okay, it is a branch of physics that deals with the effect of external forces on a physical body. Okay? When we say of engineering mechanics, ilagay nyo sa inyong kukote. Okay? We are talking about forces and a physical body. Okay? Ganon yung engineering mechanics. So, first of all, okay, under, dito muna tayo sa unang branch ng engineering mechanics, which is mechanics of rigid bodies or mechanics of solids in other terms. So, meron tayong statics at saka dynamics. Okay? Just a review, statics is actually a branch of mechanics or, or mechanics of solids that deals with a body at rest. Okay? And then, and dynamics is branch din siya ng mechanics. Okay? Pero ang dinideal niya is yung body in motion. Okay? So, kahit uh, research nyo pa sa net, okay? When we say statics, it means at rest, okay? And then, pag sinabi natin dynamics in motion, okay? So, that is it. So, another one is we have mechanics of deformable bodies. Okay? So, you might ask class, ano ba itong kaibahan ng deformable at saka ng rigid bodies? Pag sinabi natin rigid bodies, ito yung mga uh, type ng bodies in which uh, ina-assume natin na nag hindi nag-change yung shape niya or volume kapag uh, nag-act yung external force. Samantalang dito sa deformable bodies is kinoconsider natin na nag-deform yung, uh, yung body dahil sa force. Ibig sabihin, may posibilidad na mag-change yung shape o, or ang volume ng isang body ng dahil sa force. And then, yun yung kaibahan nila. Okay? So, hope na intindihan. So, and then, we have fluid mechanics. I know, hindi pa natin ito itatackle this semester, pero yung fluid mechanics, itackles, uh, branch din siya ng uh, mechanics, okay, ng engineering mechanics, na nagdi-deal naman sa fluid. So, ano ba tong fluid? So, you might imagine na ang fluid is yung tubig o parang tubig na nag-flow. Okay? So, but somehow, hindi lang siya liquid. 
or tubig. So, anything na nagpo-flow, whether liquid siya or gas, it can be considered as fluid mechanics. And then, lastly, itackle natin ng pakonte itong, uh, itong dalawang pro. Okay? We have the relativistic mechanics and quantum mechanics. So, actually, class, um, para ito sa mga BS physics o, or na mga subjects. So, actually, wala ito sa engineer, uh, usually, wala ito sa bachelor course ng engineering mechanics ng engineering science, pero maybe sa master's degree, depende sa kukunin pag nag-master's kayo or nag-doctorate, maaari nyo itong matakal. Okay? When we say relativistic mechanics, you know, we talk about theory of relativity na pioneered ni Albert Einstein. And then, we have the other uh, term, quantum mechanics. Okay? So, actually, medyo related itong dalawa. So, So, kayo na lang mag, uh, mag if you are interested in this too, kayo na lang po, kayo na lang mag-search. So, that's all. So, that is the different branches of engineering mechanics.